Hi everyone, I'm Engineer Shane and today we're going to discuss about Masonry Works. Our outline for today will be the definition, types, manpower, tools used, and trivia about Masonry Works. To define masonry works, it is a construction method that uses individual units, whether it can be a block, a brick, a stone, together with mortar, in which mortar is a composition of a sand and cement. It differentiates the concrete, because the concrete is made of aggregates, sand, and cement, plus water, syempre. For the mortar, wala yung aggregate. It is just made of sand, saka ng cement, and water. Classified as bearing and non-bearing blocks. Mason D, yun yung type of work na ginagamit kapag nagko-combine ka ng mga certain type of unit, whether it can be a block or hollow blocks as we know, mga bricks or mga stones. Tawag ng masonry works. Ano ba yung mga types ng masonry? Here we have common of three. The brick, which is made of clay, and tensile stress, strength is less. Part to ng mga non-bearing types of Masonry works, masonry materials, non-bearing, kaya niya magdala na, ay, hindi na kaya magdala ng weight, bearing, kaya niya magdala ng load. For the stone, most durable, strong, and weather-resistant construction material. Kaya naman makapansin niya, nilalagay siya usually sa mga fences, or pwede rin siyang pang exterior na part ng bakay. Or concrete, also known as hollow blocks, made of cement, sand, and water. Yan. So, ito pinatigas. Wala din siyang uh, aggregate, pero made of cement kasi siya. For the manpower, we call them mason or mason sa Tagalog. The skilled worker who builds by laying masonry units. Nililay, ibig sabihin, ini-stack and then pinapile up, pinagdudugtong-dugtong. Gaya ng ginagawa dito, nile-level and then ina-align and then pinaplastering. Ika nga yung pangalan ng trabaho. What are the tools used? Meron tayo ditong commonly used, the six-foot mason's rule, or yung pang-align, whether kung ano man yung any straight cut na ginagamit pang-align, katulad nung dito natin kanina na the person, pwede din lamang leveling rod siya. And then we have here the trowel. Ito usual tong ginagamit, yung yung pang ganun, yung parang pizza na shape na pinanglalapat ng mga buhang... Uh, ng semento sa hollow blocks. So, same with this one, we, wide heel London brick laying trowel. So, it's more of the shape. Sabi ng mga construction worker, mas malaki yung sakop ng trowel. Mas okay for them. Yet, syempre, pag mas malaki, mas mabigat. Since this is made of steel or aluminum, depende. Convex joiner, ito naman ginagamit kapag ipa-flatten na nila yung itong mga part na ganito. Or dito sa example natin, ito. Ginagamit yung jointer here kapag ipa-flat na nila yan. Okay? And then for the 4-inch wide brick set, so ito, ginagamit for bricks kapag mag-paplastering na sila para at least may straight edge, di ba? Or and the mason's hammer, mason's hammer kapag yun nga mag-align na sila. So, yan, makikita natin na dito initially kung ano yung mga ginagamit nila. We have here the self-leveling rod, then ito hammer, then ito yung brick set na gina ginagamit pang flat na nung uh, plastering natin. Yan. Trivia! How many blocks... Hollow blocks per square meter ang meron para makatulong sa atin makapag-determine kung ilan ba yung hollow blocks na gagamitin natin. So, the solution will be, it's easy, but kailangan pa rin natin ng technical computation. So, here we go. Ayan. So, for example, we have here 1 meter by 1 meter since per square meter yung pinag-uusapan natin. Okay? So, palitan ko lang yung point nito. Ayan. Sige. So, here, we have 1 meter by 1 meter na size ng, di ba, yun yung measurement natin ng square. And then, ang sabi, ang dimension ng hollow blocks, normally, ang ginagamit natin is 0.4 by 0.1 by 0.2 in meters. Yan yung length times width times height ng hollow blocks. Kung ganyan naman, ang area per hollow blocks, ito yung kinoconsider natin, ang length niya is this one, which is 0.4. And then, yung width niya, ito yan, which is 
And then yung height is 0.2. So, meters yan, ha? Yan. Para hindi tayo... Yan yung normally na size. And then, to, to, ha, to know kung ano yung area niya, ito yan, alamin natin. So, 0.4 by 0.2. So, alamin natin yung area na yan. Kasi ang tatanungin natin, ilan kayang hollow blocks yung malilay natin dyan? Ika nga, ilang, ilang piraso based on the area. So, ilan kaya? Ilang hollow blocks kaya? Using the area, we have here 0.4 by 0.2, so 0 0.08 square meters. Yan yung sagot. Then, 1, 1 square meter, di ba? 1 square meter divided by 0 0.08 is equivalent to 12.5 pieces or 12 pieces equivalent estimate, estimate of 12 pieces of hollow blocks per square meter. Yan. So, kung meron tayong 5 square meters ng hollow block, ay ng 5 square meter for masonry works, meron na tayong 12 pieces per square meter. So, i-multiply lang natin na ng 5, makukuha na natin 60 pieces. So, ganun lang siya kabilis. At least, in terms of pieces of hollow blocks using this dimension, alam na natin agad. To summarize, we have, we have discussed the types based on material, the manpower, the tools, and the trivia for masonry. If you have any question, drop on the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer those. That's it for today's discussion. For more content and learnings, follow me on the following social media platforms and don't forget to subscribe on this channel for more engineering lectures and more topics about self-love, time management, and life discovery. This is in partnership with Cloud Construction Consultancy. See you on the next video. Bye!